Hello again, my wealthy wife, family, friends. This is Ms. Sophia, author of Wealthy Wife, Meeting, Dating, and Marriage Man, as well as the founder of Wealthy Wife. How are you doing? Let's start out first by saying thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate you being here. For my old school OG subscribers, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Huge hug, huge hug. Absolutely appreciation for all the time you've spent with me growing through this process with me here at Wealthy Wife. For my brand new subscribers or newer subscribers, I want to say first, welcome to the Wealthy Wealthy Wife. And also thank you for joining us. And as for my active um, official Wealthy Wife Goddaughters and the alumni, once again, I do appreciate the alumni because for the time we did spend together, it was amazing and hope all is well with you. But for the active academy students and my private clients, ladies, oh, what an amazing time you're having. We are truly having a wonderful time. And once again, I do appreciate you for allowing me to be the guide and to assist you on your path and journey back to the exceptional, phenomenal woman you are. I'll say this again, the things that I'm, they're learning, the things that they're, they're understanding, the things that they're allowing themselves to receive. Because one of the, I think the biggest, well, matter of fact, I know this because I have to deal with it myself throughout time, is the inability to allow yourself to receive. Because a lot of folks are going to tell me, gimme, 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 gimme. But once again, they want to give without having to do anything in return, which that makes no sense to me because it's supposed to be about reciprocity. Or when things finally come up in the person that they've been taking from, because if something is giving to you, you're, there's no reciprocity, you're basically, basically just taking advantage of them. And some people are getting off on that. They really do. I get that. But if you're talking about a relationship that is... You know, you want to see develop and have longevity. There needs to be reciprocity. So what I've noticed, and just once again, hearing different things, watching different things, for all of those, I told you my favorite one is always a sugar daddy thing. Everyone wants a sugar daddy. We won't say everybody, but some women want a sugar daddy, but so many don't want to give the sugar, which always makes me laugh out loud because I'm thinking, so it's okay for him to give you what you want. You make an agreement with this individual, but now you want to renege on the offer. You never should have made the arrangement. Because if it's somebody that you don't want to go through all the way through all, you know, if you have no desire to fulfill the terms of the agreement, you never should have made it. Because that's an integrity issue. Once again, it's supposed to be reciprocity. So that one always makes me laugh out loud because you see it going all over the uh, internet. But why be afraid of what you desire? Because I'll say this again. There's all kinds of relationships out there for a variety of reasons. And I've said this again, I'm not one to sit here and judge. Only time I have issues with things, if it's non-consensual. I prefer that people have conversations, sit down, have eyeball to eye conversations, not over texting, not over the phone, but sit down and have eyeball to eyeball conversations. So you can read body language, you can see the eye contact, you can hear the voice, you can have all your senses present when you're making these um, agreements. Now that can be marriage, that could be sugar baby, that could be Mr. I don't know what it is, whatever. It's, it could be business, whatever. You want to be making eyeball to eyeball conversation, um, contact because these are important negotiations. And negotiation should always be done in person. Another reason why, because I teach what I teach here at Wealthy Wife, because once again, folks are so scared to get in front of people. And I understand it. Most people are not equipped to handle it. How many of you were taught how to be present with people? I have lots of training. I said before, my whole life experience has had me on stages since I was a child. Literally. So I'm accustomed to being on stage. I'm accustomed to being in front of audiences. I can speak in front of audiences. I just once again, that is my that is my training from childhood into adulthood, obviously. And I teach people. Once again, I've been training people on it now for quite some time as well. Not just with a wealthy wife, it's been outside of wealthy wife as well. But this is the newest addition to that type of training. But most people are scared because they're worried about someone saying, no, what if that would be what I want? Well, that means it's not your right person or you have no, or you just totally are terrible at negotiating. Because sometimes, especially when you're dealing with rich and wealthy men, they like the art of negotiation. They love negotiating. Because one, they're also testing to see the strength of your personality, the level of confidence that you have. How well do you communicate? Do you believe in what you're asking for? There's lots of things that are going on behind the scenes in these conversations. Do you cave in easily? Are you difficult for no reason? 
to me, it's this very beautiful dance, this exchange. It's just very it's sexy. It's fun. It's informative. And once again, that's why I'm just going to be talking about these archetypes because I love, I just love these. Because once again, they have different skill sets. And when you're a wise woman, and once you understand self, you can partake of other skill sets. You will take them, you utilize them, and then you learn how to tweak them to work within the dynamics of your personality and your desires. How many of you are living lives that you really, you just, you're just sick of it? You're like, God, there's got to be more than this. And you're ready and willing to do something about it. Because many people dislike their lives, but they, re they refuse to make any changes. It doesn't happen. You have to be willing to change. And the change starts with you. But how many of you really sincerely desire a real change in your life? How many of you are currently working on it? How many of you are working on it and you're stuck? Because what happens is you'll get to a level, you accomplish, accomplish, accomplished, and then you hit a plateau. It's kind of like a weight loss. Weight loss, you lose loot, you know, the weight's coming off, coming off, coming off. And then there will be a point in the weight loss where the body just has to stop for a moment to make adjustments, hormonal adjustments. There's just things going on inside your body that it just simply needs to stop removing the weight so it can make the adjustments to, you know, do whatever it's got to do at the current weight. And then you'll start, you know, the weight will start coming off again. Life is the same way. Maybe you've hit a plateau. Maybe you're sitting here going, okay, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, and I'm just not getting the results I desire. Or I was getting these really great results and now everything just seems to have stopped. And I don't understand why. That's time for an assessment. That is time for literally to sit down and map out new strategies. Because once again, you have hit a point where you have better understanding and knowing of self, but maybe now that you step into a, the new, a, you know, a different space and you are evolved higher, you've been elevated higher, now you need new tools. You need new information. It's no different, like going to school. Think about it. Nowadays, you know, kids are starting out in preschool. And then from preschool, you go to kindergarten. And then from kindergarten, you go to grade school. Grade school, you'll go to sometimes, I don't know if middle school still exists, to be honest with you, middle school or junior high school. From junior high school, you'll go to high school. Now, from high school, you may decide to go to a trade school and learn a trade, or you may decide to join the military, you may decide to, you know, work in a family business, you may decide to go to college, whatever. You're going to choose another form of higher education. But let's say you go to college. You go to college, you get your bachelor, or you get your associate degree, you get your bachelor or bachelor's. And then with the bachelor's, you may get one, two, or three. Who knows? I got I know folks who've got many bachelor's degrees and many master's degrees and PhD, and they're just professional students, which not a bad thing, but racking up debt I'm like going okay because some folks just love to go to school some of them stay in school because once again they understand that when they take a look at their student loans they're like going oh crap they'll be going to school till they're 90 I'm just saying because they're like going I'm not once I stop taking classes I gotta start repaying these you know these bills these debts back but let's say you're going to go you get your maths you get your bachelor's you get a master's you get a PhD this is life life has those kind of changes and processes too so where do you feel that you fit in at the moment? Because some are still walking around in preschool. Like I said, I've said it before, folks out of these preschool mindsets expecting these, you know, these PhD level or mastery level um, results. And it's like, but you've done none of the work in between. So how are you going to get a mastery level result when you have no idea how to appreciate it, no idea how to handle it, no idea how to hold the energy for it? Just a mess. It's a process. Now, some folks may come into the process. They're at, you know, the middle school level. They may come at the high school level. Some may even be at the college level, so to speak. But wherever you are, if you feel stuck, that means it's time for you to now learn new skill sets to take you higher. It means it's time for you to now to begin to reevaluate what you currently have that's working and understand and release what no longer works for you. Now, this goes for everything, your personal life, your professional life, your romantic life. Why I'm doing the archetypes, why I teach how to become the muse over here, why I discuss having clarity around your desires and dreams so you actually can receive and be very confident in the reception of what you're asking for. Your life is set up to be dynamic. You came, especially as a woman, you have special, I, tell, I, I got on one as I said on, I think it's on the website, talking about the mastering the arts of feminine allure being a woman is a superpower and it really really is and it's time for us to use those superpowers for the betterment of self as opposed to destruction of self and sometimes others but now is your time 
to really dig and, and go deeper and dive into the mysteries of your womanhood. Because you've been taught for so long to be afraid of it. Why? I understand the whys, but I'm asking you personally, why? Are you done? Are you ready, like I said, to dive into the deep and go around and say, ooh, what's this? What's this? And then understand how to utilize the information that you have and put it to use to elevate your desires and your dreams. What do you dream of? What do you desire? What do you think about? I just realized I'm recording this. I don't have my dog on. <laughs> my mic plugged in. I hope you guys can hear it. Hang on a second. Let me plug in my mic. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just realized this. My bad. <laughs> I've been moving stuff around, so sometimes I just get a little sidetracked. Let me see if I can plug this in. Let me see. Huh, hang on. All right, now you're going to hear a major change in the, in the dynamics of the sound. I hope you can hear the early part of this because I really have no desire to re-record it. But I was asking, where are you? Okay, you're evaluating what you have learned. Let's say, for example, like I said, you come into the process and you're at the high school level of your elevation. You've gone through the prior work. You made these changes. You've accelerated. You've, you've, you've risen up. You have more wisdom. But now you're stuck. And, you're, you, and now because you know you can actually receive more and you're ready for more, what are you doing to, to, to do it? I talk about the archetypes because, once again, they have different traits, characteristics that will definitely assist you when you're working from the archetype that is your main archetype. But having access to the other five, like I said, there are six archetypes I talk about in the arts, master the arts of feminine allure. You have access to the aspects of the additional five. Now, some of those aspects will not, maybe not work for you. Because it just doesn't, you know, measure the personality. But you may discover that a couple other ones do. And you want to begin to incorporate. Because remember, the whole goal is for you as a woman to stay mysterious. To be a, an internal student. To apply the information that you learn so that you can elevate to the level of a PhD, DDD, so to speak. And do it in a way that, once again, takes nothing from you emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, but adds to your experiences and adds to you, thus making it more enjoyable for the individuals who also are going to be standing in the space with you. I love what I do. I say this all the time because I sincerely love what I do and the way I am able to assist other women. And in assisting them, it also assists the men because the men who come across my goddaughters, the men who actually experience time with them, are forever changed in a very positive way. Because it's like this 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 beacon of light, this this being, this this presence has arrived in their world and, and also lets the men understand and know that you know what? They were designed for better and more. It is thrilling. It really is. And I was I do desire for more of you to join me. I do, I really do. If you're ready. Like I said, because my biggest thing is this, I'm not, I don't babysit over here, okay? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. By the time you get to Wealthy Wife, you should be in a space where you're open-minded and you're ready to really make, you're ready to make these changes. I said before, the goddaughters, you are becoming, they are becoming and are being a devotee of the space of Wealthy Wife, the teachers here in Wealthy Wife, but also of themselves. They are honoring themselves because they're no longer going to settle for anything less. They're no longer allowing other people to harass them. They're no longer other people's opinions to bother them. Uh, it's a process. It doesn't happen overnight. It's a process. But when it finally does happen, they don't go backwards. They're able to appreciate the life lessons they have learned along the way, even the unpleasant ones, because all of it, once again, is building blocks. They're all stepping stones to a higher version of yourself. I love the fact that we come together because once again, we have the calls. So I have up to right now, up to three calls a month, only because I got a call going on Saturday with the live master class. By next month, we'll be back to our Saturday call. So it's up to four calls a month, depending on the memberships that you have or where you are in the academy. At least three times a month, you're going to be able to gather with us, uh, you know, throughout the week and on the weekend. And you have a chance once again to experience these other women. The goddaughters that I'm working with, the ones who are showing up consistently, like I said, some are in and out. For you, I realize work schedule, different things happen, make it maybe difficult for some to show up. But when you come into the space, it is 
you literally you 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 have walked into a temple. You literally can feel the energy. And it is sacred space. And it's a space that we as women, we do need. We need to have a place where we can go and connect with other women that's positive, which is elevating, which offers additional wisdom to what we already know. You know, I had a conversation, we had a conversation, I think it was, oh, this past Saturday call on for the Glamour Magic. And I was just, we were discussing, you know, different things that we do, how we actually, you know, do our prayers and manifestations, whatever. And I always tell them this. I offer suggestions. I offer guidance. I offer wisdom. And I also offer suggestions. If what I'm saying doesn't quite align with your particular energy, that's fine. Because if you're working on something that is working for you, by all means, do what works for you. I am here to teach and offer additional information. Because even in the process of knowing, there are still things that they are learning. And, you know, sometimes, you know, as people have, have opposing opinions, and that's perfectly fine. I'm not here to make like I said, you know, carbon copies out of any of my goddaughters. They need to be thinking for self. They need to be tapping into their own intuition and wisdom because that's how you grow. But being open-minded to receive additional techniques and information that comes in, which could tweak what you're currently doing or may give you a whole new process to build on. In the space of wealthy wife, these women are fearless women. They have finally gotten over the fear of self. They finally gotten over the fear of what other people think. They don't care. They finally understand, you know what, for me to have my best life, I must learn how to be myself. I'll say it again. It's in your Bible for those of you that are Christian. It's in other religious texts and spiritual texts. Know thyself. And the journey to self is meant to be an enjoyable journey. Yes, there are going to be some things that pop up periodically that are going to challenge you because we need that. Challenge is how we grow. Think about working out when you're building muscle. I said before, I've been... Working out, not lately, I got to get back into it, but for years, 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 I was in the gym, weight training. I've been weight training for forever and a day. Even spin class. I remember the first time I took my first spin class. Oh my gosh, I thought, oof. But the first time I took it, I was like, wow. But as you build the endurance, either for the workout with weights or for, I use spin class right now because more of you are going to be spinning class than doing spin class than weight training. But once you build the endurance for the spin class, I was able to do two-hour spin classes. Yeah. Go back to back with spin class. One hour would go through. You know, she, she's going, I'm doing, I'm doing it. You know, I'm doing a two-hour class. You're going to hang with me? And I'd be hanging two hours with the spin class. Because I'd build up the lung capacity, the muscles, that you know, that my body had rewired itself to be able to hold that energy and do better. That's the same thing with what you're learning in your life. Everything is a process and everything comes with some pain. That's how it's wired down here for the moment. And the pain is not meant to stop you. It's meant to let you know that you're growing and you're releasing. Kind of like, once again, as you, as you become stronger, as you, you gain strength in your workouts, once again, it takes longer for that lactic acid to pop in and have you going, oh my gosh, why am I doing this to myself? The same thing with your life. The longer the periods become longer and longer between of the struggle because you identify it quicker and you deviate your attention. You go pick up one of your tools that actually works to help you get past this block. You are in the space. And once again, of a group of women, you're in a safe haven, you're in a sacred space where you can bring questions forward and receive answers. You know, people that can assist you with information that you can think about and offer solutions I love the fact that like I said my goddaughters when we're in together live, we have conversations that offer wisdom from not just me. The goddaughters offer up great information. I kid you not. We get in there and it's up between the books and the websites and the YouTube videos and the this and the that. There's so much information and I love it. Because we are here to be wise women and none of us know everything. Well, I know a ton and I mean I know a ton of stuff. From here and from, you know, galactically, so to speak, because I do type, tap into higher wisdoms, that I far from know everything. So it's always beautiful when I offer my suggestions or my recommendations. And then another goddaughter comes in and says, you know what, have you also thought about this? It's such a loving space. It truly, truly is. So if you're a part of any of, like I said, the online academy courses like the longer ones, then you know I send out because I send out the invites to the live calls to everybody that I have registered in the Become a Muse Master class, any of the bundles, 
Um, the Elegant Muse VIP membership, they receive invitations. Anybody that's in the Mastering the uh, Feminine Arts of Allure, you're invited to the cause because this is a new course, but anybody in that course, you're invited to the cause. It's such a great space. And it's so different because women are so used to just, women are so unkind to each other, unfortunately. So sometimes they're kind of going, wow, this really is a place where I can just come and be. If, yes, it is. Because I refuse to allow anything in there that's going to spoil our environment. We are sacred space. My goddaughters, as I say to you guys out here also, outside of Wealthy Wife, you are a walking, talking, holy grail. You are sacred space. So let's learn how to take the tools and information that can help you understand what that means for you. So I'm going to say it again. If you have not enrolled in the Mastering the Arts of Feminine Allure, what are you waiting for? Because that is, I, I kid you not, I have read, reading the questions. I've got, I kid you not, I've got a binder. My binder hat, it holds 400 sheets of paper. I have almost 400 sheets of paper of information on these archetypes I've gathered. I'm laughing because I'm not even kidding. I've got to go buy a new binder. Because that's how deep I've gone into the wisdom and to find what I can find to offer you. So that you can actually have the pleasure and play and the prosperity of being this woman that, once again, is unforgettable. People are going, oh my God, did you meet so-and-so? Yeah, she's pretty, oh, I know. And the things you're asking for also find you unresistible, irresistible, irresistible. So come join us. Like I said, I would love to have you here. Once again, I've been sharing with you guys questions that are part of the course. There, You have an opportunity to listen to a preview of the first lesson. You literally have, if you go into, is, is it in the video description? I don't know. You have to go to the Academy and listen to a preview. But if you take a look, once again, click the link in the bio description. That goes to the website page on my, wealthy wife, my, on my official wealthywife.com. gives you an explanation of the course. If you click the button there, that has the buy now, pay later option. I said before, there's two different options for paying. If you need the buy now, if you want to take advantage of the buy now, pay later, you must use the link under the video description of this video. If you want to pay outright, then you can go straight to the Academy. But either way, the experience. Once again, this is nothing that, there's nothing light and fluffy about this. This is education. This is taking you deeper into the wisdom. It's more than just you, like I said, you learning a couple things and going out here and trying. No, this is about you taking information and embodying it. This is about you taking information and because Hey, I'll say it again. If you're looking to spend time with rich and wealthy men, not just your high earners, high and, and, and let me say, I'm gonna share this. I'm gonna share this. Two different headspaces because a high earner is somebody who has a great job, and they're going to be less flexible. There's more fear in that high earner because he has to play by certain rules to keep his job. No, it's again, no zero disrespect being shared because some people are built to be workers. That's what they're built to be. No way is everyone meant to be an entrepreneur. You're just, it's, it's a whole different headspace. But if you're doing that high earner, I don't care if he's making $700,000 a year, that's still just a high earner. But understand, he may not be flexible. And if that works for you, I honor you in that space. But the goddaughters, we're more into entrepreneurs, we're more into, we're into rich and wealthy, meaning... If the man is a high earner, he also has an entrepreneurial spirit to him where he has created additional places to funnel his money and create multiple streams of income. This is how you build rich and then turn yourself into wealthy. There are other steps to become wealthy. There are other things you need to know. Uh, especially state planning and some other. It goes deeper. I'm not going to go into all that on YouTube. Um, but he has the awareness of it. And that's the one who can will become the high net worth. What is a high net worth? I've got to get it right because I told you they threw a new one. I one in between the high net worth and the ultra net worth. There's somebody in between. And then, you know, the billionaires. I got to look it up again. But anyway, those are the men that we deal with. Because as the muse, we also bring information to inspire. That brings more money more wealth creation ideas into the process for ourselves because we also are making our own money over here. We're, we're, we're creating our own sources of currency and being poured into by the masculine. That also is in that space of creating massive amounts of money. 
and opportunities. Excuse me, because it's not just about the money. The money is very, very important because it is the tool that makes it possible to purchase the resources. But yes, 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 yes. But anyway, so these men are looking for and desire a woman who is embodying the essence and being of who she is and enjoying it because in your enjoyment, they enjoy. So either way, look forward to having you join us and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.